Let's go, baby. Let's go. Howie Kendrick, go ahead, Grand Slam to win NLDS. Oh my god, where do I even start? It was insane. I'm just going to give you guys my initial reactions right here. We just got back from the game. Howie Kendrick, man. Okay, that, let's just start off with the beginning of the game. The Dodgers went out to an early 3-0 lead. And then it was no scored for no scoring for about five innings, I believe. I think in the sixth, Juan Soto hit an RBI single to start chipping away at the lead. And then it was three to one. And then in the eighth inning, Anthony Rendon hit a home run. And then the next pitch, Juan Soto home run. So tied three to three. We go into the tenth inning, and then Anthony, no, he didn't lead off the inning. Adam Ethan led off the inning with a walk. Anthony Rendon double is actually ground rule double second and third. Intentional walk to Juan, to Juan Soto again. No, not again, but intentional walk to Juan Soto. So bases loaded. Howie Kendrick steps to the plate. Biggest at bat of his career. And he's a longtime Angels legend. So this is extra sweet. Home run. Grand slam to take a 7-3 to three lead. That's just crazy how things work out. It was just the best thing to watch as an Angel fan. Seeing Angels legend Howie Kendrick. Put away the Dodgers with a grand slam. Yeah, Howie actually was a former Dodger too. He played there for like two years. But he played on the Angels for like a whole decade. And the Nationals beat the Dodgers. I had predicted them to win this series. Um, and honestly, I didn't really think they were going to win. But they took it to game five. Showed a ton of heart. Max Scherzer came out last game. He did amazing. And then he led the, the Nats to go to game five. And then this game, the whole series was great and it all led up to this game. Four hour thriller, seven to three game. So this is just one of the greatest games I've ever seen. The final pitch of the game was actually a Michael Taylor diving catch. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. So, I mean, Jesus. Again, just one of the best games I've seen. And an underrated player of the game was Anthony Rendon. He was three for five this game. He had a home run in the eighth, and then he had a double in the tenth, which really started the rally. And I think Dave Roberts made a few like not really good decisions. He put in Kershaw to face Rendon, and then he hit a home run. He kept Kershaw in, and then he gave up a home run to Juan Soto the next pitch. And then he had Joe Kelly come in the tenth, which I was uneasy with that right when I saw Joe Kelly come in come in well it wasn't really uneasy easy more like excited because I kind of thought that the Nationals were going to hit off him and then they ended up doing so Howie Kendrick grand slam I still can't really believe uh that happened actually here's a clip of it right here um I managed to film it here it is well actually no I'll just I, I'll have it in the beginning of the video actually so never mind about that Yeah, the Dodgers, seven years that they, I think they won the division seven years in a row. But at the very least, seven years in a row where they've made the NLDS at least, and then they've just lost in the playoffs. Seven years without a ring. It's honestly pretty crazy. Um, and it's satisfying to see the Dodgers get eliminated. But, you know, for Dodgers fans, a lot of them are blaming the manager, Dave Roberts. I mean, he made a few, like, and decisions. Like, I don't know how great he is in, like, the playoffs with what he does with pitchers. Obviously, he's a great manager and, at the very least, an amazing regular season manager. He's got a manager of the year. I think this is, like, their third 100-win season. I mean, you can't just blame Dave Roberts for every loss. I mean, Dodger fans, just a lot of them just aren't really great at handling losses. Um... I mean, some losses are just baseball. I mean, baseball happens. You don't see this in any other sport. You don't see these types of games in any other sports. It was pretty insane. Three, I mean, they came up and tied it. Kershaw left some pitches in the zone. I mean, this is something I just wanted to get out that, like, fans just blame the manager way too much. I don't think it was, like, completely Dave Roberts' fault. Kershaw messed up by leaving pitches in the zone. Joe Kelly left some pitches in the zone. And even Strasburg, like Strasburg, like the first couple innings, he needs some time to do, like settle in, but he settled in. Uh, 
I don't even know if I said this, but I was at the game. It was just awesome to see Howie come up clutch, go ahead Grand Slam. That was just, that's like one of the best moments of the year by far. I mean, how often do you see a go ahead Grand Slam to win the NLDS? That's an, and that's also the Nationals first time advancing in a playoff series. I'm still going for them all the way. I did it in my predictions for them to make it all the way, make it through the World Series and win that. So I'm really hoping for them to go ahead and beat the Cardinals. And tomorrow is game five of the ALDS, Astros Rays. And this Nationals win, them upsetting the Dodgers, actually gives me more hope for the Rays to upset the Astros. I really hope it happens. I actually have the Astros winning in my bracket. And I was like kind of low-key voting for them like in the first four games of the series. But now that the Cardinals won, also the Cardinals game, what the hell was that? Ten runs in the first inning. Cardinals blew out the Braves. I had the Braves going, um, and now my bracket's destroyed because the Braves suck. Um, and now I don't really care too much about my bracket. I, the only thing I care about is standing my, by my prediction of the Nationals taking it all the way. But I really hope the Rays can beat the Astros. If the Dodgers and Astros both lose in the, in the, in the division series, that would be pretty crazy. I mean, like the best AL and NL team being eliminated. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It would be hard to stop the Yankees if that happened. And also, that I would be happy if the Astros lost in the ALDS because I think that would just make for more reason for Garrett Cole to leave. Um, so, really running for the Rays tomorrow. Uh, make sure you guys comment what team you're voting for now in the playoffs. There's five teams left. Yankees, Astros, Rays, Nats, Cards. Let me know in the comments what you think, who you think is going to win, and that is it. I tried to do this whole video on one take because that's like something new I'm trying not like to edit and just talk and like, you know, like natural, just like unedited, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys next video. What a game. Stay tuned for this playoffs. This playoff, this playoffs has already been pretty amazing. It's going it's, it's to continue that way. I'm going to have to bleep that out, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys next video. Peace. Oh yeah, also guys, the vlog of the game is going to be up um, in a couple days. I made a vlog of the game. Um, it's going to be a dope vlog. I filmed a lot of different parts of the game, like, for example, Anthony Rendon. He had a home run. I filmed that. I filmed some other stuff. I also caught a baseball, so stay tuned for the vlog. I just wanted to do this update after the game because the game was just crazy. I had to do it. I had to do a separate video on it. And yeah, peace.